Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 3 Series Generation F30, F31. This is the 3 Series from year 2013 to year 2019. If you guys need to find where the fuse for the trailer towing control module is located, you have up to four different fuses. We will explain where they are located, where you can buy cheap fuses, parts, tools, that way you do not waste your money. Why it's important to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered up absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stand till the end so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys every single car that we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything engines transmissions bodywork why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can on this channel you will be able to find videos about every single fuse on that bmw relay let's say you're down the road uh, you're in the middle of nowhere and you blow a few injection fuse you need to see where it's located uh, we'll have the video on the channel you just search for one or two minutes look at the video replace it and you're back on the road otherwise guys it's really confusing with these fuses that's why we are making these videos if you need to buy any tools uh, parts for your BMW uh, fuses relays at a really good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below we will share it for your convenience so let's start on it now so the trailer towing control module uh, fuse guys you have four of them let's explain where they're located on a 2013 bmw 3 series you by the way have up to six different fuse boxes four are visible two are hidden we have a complete video that explains that today we will need to open the fuse box that's located in the trunk in your trunk if you grab that cargo liner just pull it out and where that arrow is towards the back seat under the cargo liner you have a fuse box and the layout guys okay we will look just like uh, just uh, like this one right here before we continue let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays so now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse right but uh, it could be guys a bad fuse sometimes it's really hard to tell it's hard to see you have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad you may end up spending time money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need so always test fuses it takes only uh, a few seconds we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how how to test relays as well relays are easy to test uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys so check out the links will be in the description of the video below so here guys we'll need to start checking uh, a few fuses this is towards the front of the BMW, this is the rear, that's on the passenger side, that's the driver side. We'll need to start with that row of fuses here and uh, here we'll need to check in that row two fuses. That's 112, so 113, right here 113 and 114. These two fuses will need to be checked guys, that's for the trailer or tow control module. Then you're going to come, okay, in that row of fuses here guys, and we need to check two more there. So that's 136, 7, 8, 139, okay, right there, and 140, okay, these two, and these two will need to be checked, guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let us know. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.